Hello YouTube, my name is Sharia. This is the Sharia Mac channel where I am documenting my journey towards debt freedom in hopes to build wealth, retire early, or become work independent as a married woman paying debt alone. If you are new here, thank you so very much for clicking on this video. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so very much for coming back. If you're new and you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing to follow my journey as I eliminate and crush this debt, build wealth in hopes to retire early or become work independent as a married woman paying debt alone. In today's video, if you are familiar, then my you know that my budget is back. Thank God. It has been so long since I have been able to record a budget because I was trying to kind of play with my budget, which is probably a, the, a journey that I should have shared with you guys. But I was playing with my budget so that I could live solely off of my income income budget and take my consulting budget or my consulting income and put it strictly in my business bank account anyhow i will go further into detail about that as soon as we get into the video which is now going to use my pen that I got from Plan Your One Life. All right, so if you're new here, um, this is my new income from my W-2, my new job as a licensed clinical social worker care manager. Um, if you have not watched the video, uh, all the details about my new job, uh, I suggest you go watch it to get kind of caught up as to how I ended up here. Anyhow, so I get paid twice, no, every other week. Last month was a magic month for me, although it didn't feel really magical because of how my bills were already set up to be paid based on how I got paid at my other job. But, so we'll go over my savings accounts. Um, so I have a Christmas sinking fund, $50 goes into that every pay period. I have a personal savings account, which is now my um, self-employment living fund. And that is sitting at $4,135 and maybe 42 cents, not quite sure. My emergency fund I do have with Capital One and it is sitting at $2,055.01. And then my taxes is actually sitting at $3,216.42. And um, I have taken $433 out of this amount to pay my 2020 taxes that were deferred. So I went ahead and paid that. Um, that brings me a total savings amount of $10,047.12. Um, over here, this is my Fed loan payment that I plan to make, um, but my regular Fed loan payment, as you know, Fed loan or federal loans are in forbearance, but I am working very hard to pay off the remaining interest. And if you have not already watched my video about my student loan, uh, student loan Saturdays where I go over the progress I was able to make, I suggest you watch that and get caught up. We'll go over here to my fixed expenses. Our Wells Fargo home mortgage is five ten. That is paid twice a month to total one thousand twenty dollars. Netflix is nineteen twenty. Planet Fitness is ten dollars. Sprint is one forty five twenty three, and Best Buy is twenty nine dollars. Hopefully, to hope my goal is to have that eliminated by November sixteenth, and then Apple Storage is nine ninety nine nine ninety nine to bring my total. Fixed expenses to $723. And that is major progress. Now that I have moved all of my business expenses into to be paid out of my business account, that is 
about $500 less than what paycheck number two budget was in June. So great progress. As for variable expenses, I can't foresee any coming up um, other than my reunion tickets. Um, it is my 20 year reunion and I'm really still sitting on the fence about if I wanna go, but I believe it's 125. For $100 for mine, and it'll be $25 for my husband. And so I have to factor that into the budget. I just saw a reminder about that on Facebook, which is why it was not in here to begin with. Now we go down to my cash envelopes and my sinking funds. I shared in my like I'm back video that I don't really do cash envelopes and sinking funds. I kind of just um, develop the budget for it, but I usually leave the money in my checking account and just use my debit card so or i transfer the money into the savings accounts that i have so as for cash envelopes i have really cut a lot of the spending so basically it's just gas which is 55 spend which is 50 offering which is 55 and then i only pay commissions to my baby boy my two older kids now have jobs and did not care for the commissions which was fine with me so that totals 165 and then for sinking funds i have 50 dollars now going into vacation so 100 dollars a month 25 into car maintenance five dollars towards prom and five dollars towards subscriptions which gives me a total of 85 dollars that brings me down to my monthly summary with my income at 1964.44 my savings at 175 my expenses now at 723 actually 723.42 plus 125 equals 848.42 sinking funds at 85 envelopes at 165 that leaves me a balance of and I'll do the math again 1964.44 minus 175 for savings minus 848.42 minus 85 minus 165 now leaves me a total of 691.02 in which 650 will go towards additional debt minus 650 uh-oh minus 650 which leaves 4102 that'll go into my savings it for my pay paycheck to budget um i do close my budgets out but i don't record that because it's always so many errors and i'm sure you know i do love being as transparent as i possibly can and that may be helpful to so many people but i just do not be motivated to do that so this is my september to budget that should have me on track to eliminate the remaining interest that is left on my student loans by September 30th. But now I'm kind of at the point where I'm like, mm, if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. But I do want to, if you can feel me on that. So comment down below if you have any suggestions for my budget. Um, how often do you budget? I have created a monthly budget which i will share at the beginning of the next month um because i am still you know trying to figure this out and hopefully by the beginning of next month my accountant will have told me how much i could have paid myself for this month as well as august so that is it for my paycheck to budget Thank you so very much for watching. If you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to follow my journey in eliminating six figures worth of debt as a married woman paying debt alone. And do remember that the debt-free journey is indeed a journey. 
not a destination.